G'day fellas, this is a quick video to show you how to set up Drongo's map population. So first thing we need to do is put down a core module which you can find under Systems, Drongo's map population core. So just put one of these down. Next we need to define our faction. You can define multiple ones but today we're just going to define one. So let's put down a group of CSAT infantry down a rifle squad. Now for each faction you need to define some classes as HVTs, squad leaders, pilots and vehicle crewmen. If you don't define them then the system will automatically put in NATO units. So if you're getting NATO units where you don't want them that means that this part has not worked properly. So for squad leaders, any unit that has a rank of sergeant will be considered a squad leader. So we've put down a squad here, and yeah, this squad leader is already set to sergeant. But let's say that we want uh, one other type of sergeant. So let's say we want some uh, CSAT uh, special forces in there. We want this, um, whatever reason, a sniper. So we'll put him down and set him as sergeant and now this unit type will be considered as a squad leader. So what else? Uh, let's put down an officer to use as a HVT, we'll set him to the colonel. Uh, we need to set pilots, so we'll set their rank to major and vehicle crewmen set their rank to captain. It doesn't matter if these are grouped or not grouped. Now let's do something a bit wacky. Let's say, yeah, we want to use some vehicles, but we're going to give our CSAT faction NATO vehicles for whatever reason. And uh, AAF drones. And let's see what else can we do? LDF cars. And you can put whatever planes and turrets and so forth you want in there. Give them a griffin. Now a good idea, because you've got these different factions sitting next to each other on the map, we need to make sure they don't shoot, it, shoot each other at the mission start or blow up by hitting terrain. So right click on one, attributes, and unclick all of these boxes and that will mean that they won't be simulated but they'll still be there for the engine to read. So next we go to systems again and define faction. Now all of these units must be within 200 meters of this module. So click on the module, we're going to call it um, Wacky CSAT. This custom name is not important unless you're doing some editing but it's just good practice at this point to give them a unique unique name we're going to make them spawn on resistance sites all this stuff is fairly self-explanatory hit ok and play so this yellow circle is our AO these yellow houses are locations in the armor engine they're usually towns, but they can be other things like one of the I guess, some storage area, mine. But for the purpose of the engine, they count essentially as towns. These blue things are compounds, which is a cluster of three or more enterable buildings close to each other, but distance, distant from a town. These green circles are what are called remote areas, which just means an area that's not near a town. We can see our faction is spawning in here. And let's take a look at how they've worked out. So, uh, Seaside enjoying a bit of camping. Uh, long patrol, long recon patrol. Where are they? Yeah, the AI hasn't kicked in yet. Uh, HVT, so there'll be an officer in here. There he is there. In this uh, compound. So you can see how it works there. 
Again, if NATO units are spawning in, it's because the system hasn't picked up one of the unit types that you've placed. So we were putting them up here. All these dummy units will be deleted as soon as they're registered into the system. So that's it lads, uh, if you're still having trouble then shoot me an email or a post on uh, Steam or something like that. Um, and finally I want to say a big thank you to all my patrons, thank you very much guys. And there's more to come, have a good one lads, bye.